Hi, my name is Makpul Mohammed, and I play DCI Kebo on Showmax's brand new original, Crime and Justice. Do check it out. I, I can tell you all the roles that I've done have been uh, memorable because they're all different. I, the first role I ever did, I think, away from stage on TV was a young guy who was trying to find his footing in a world where that keeps on changing. That was Reflections on KBC. And of course, Makutano was more or less the same, um, but it was more set in a rural setting. And of course, the day-to-day -day dramas, which was really, really cool, to playing... Um, a comedy, so to speak, <laughs> in, a, in an entanglement with, uh, with a woman who uh, is fairly crazy, so to speak. And, and every role has been rewarding in its own way, I suppose. And, and as an actor, I have to celebrate that because the more roles you do, the different roles you do, is more you discover yourself and sharpen your skills, I suppose. Well in, you just discovered yourself. Stick to it, regardless of how hard it is, because with passion comes great reward. Um, first of all, uh, when, when you're given a script, you have to internalize and understand what the character is trying to say, who they are, and then create a back story, which many actors uh, don't invest in. But you have to create that story and understand where he's coming from, where he's going. And once you have that, is that's the only way you can you can be able to properly uh, portray someone. When you have a past, you have a present, and you have a future, which is really really hard. But that's why you know the big actors are paid big bucks in Hollywood and whatnot because they sink in a bit too much sometimes, losing themselves. We've seen the likes of Heath Ledger and so on and so forth. But you really have to invest in yourself as an actor. Really invest in yourself. That's the only way you'll succeed. There's one thing that we've been talking about for the longest time in the film industry where you have to have a film bill. The filming bill will help in terms of setting the standards and the infrastructure that we need so that the ones who are upcoming can gain advantage and can gain knowledge as they're going up. And of course, those who have been before don't lose out as well because of the young talent that is coming in. We need inclusivity in this industry. We are such a baby industry. We're just starting out. And the attention that we're getting is going to make it even better. But if we put down the infrastructure, if we put down the laws, if we make sure that everyone is in a guild, we make sure that everyone has a transfer from you know, a media school to an acting school, whatever it is, to the mainstream, to the main industry, that would make a huge difference. But without those structures, it'll take slightly longer than we would want. Oof! <laughs> uh, there have been many, but just to mention a few in no particular order. Um, actors like John C. B. Okumu have been an amazing, amazing wealth of knowledge when it comes to acting in Kenya and just how to hold a brand, so to speak. Uh, there are actors such as um, Gitura Kamau. Uh, whom I really look up to because they've stood the test of time, right? Actors like Telly Savalas Otieno, who not many people know, but one of the greatest actors in Kenya. Gilbert Lukalia, name it, Sarah Hassan, Alfie. There are so many actors. Like, I, I, I feel ashamed mentioning a few because there are others who are out there who are great. And we really need to dig in and celebrate our, our talent, especially when it comes to acting because there's, they, they've offered so much. The likes of Raymond or Fula, um, it's, we need to celebrate our actors. We really need to celebrate our actors. There was a, um, a show that I did, a short film. Um, it was called, oh my goodness me, I, my memory fails me. I'll remember it. <laughs> but it was the film uh, that warned me the first 
ever uh, Kenya International Film Festival Best Actor overall uh, some many years ago. And that role, uh, it was a, about a, a traumatic experience from childhood to where you are as an adult, which a lot of Kenyans go through. And to me, it was very, very close uh, to what I had experienced. And that particular role really, really uh, touched me. And, and I won the award because I cried. And I cried really, really hard and really, really true. But yeah, that, that role, uh, that was fantastic.